And we're back to the slums of Omega. Midst quarantine and full-scale gang war. We found Morden. And, of course, he has problems for us to fix. Of course. Everyone always has problems that only Commander Shepard can solve. Uh, I'm Commander Shepard, and this is yet another problem I have to fix for someone else. <laughs> but first, yoinking money. This would be so much easier if it was by mouse. But then I wouldn't have to worry about the, re the red ones. As you can probably guess, the red ones will fuck you over. Makes sense. Gambling terminal, huh? I mean, hey. So, literally still gambling money. Might as well. Yeah. Fuck. I didn't mean to hit that. Don't worry. Those mini games will be gone in. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That's your out. Don't move. One more step and we kill your friend. I know you're scared of the Vorcha, the plague, but this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. He's right. It doesn't make any sense. If we release the prisoner, we can go. You have my word on it. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Thank Thank you. Are learning quite a few lessons with us today. <laughs> Morden send you to find me? The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Thanks again. I owe you... well... everything. Hey, look at that. the light making him look evil kind of broke the mood a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could put a point in concussive shot. Yeah, I may as well. See. Heads up! I like this pistol. Yeah. It's a pretty nice handgun. Yeah, I like how when you aim down a side, it switches to a laser sight. I think it's kind of unique. And even shows it's that you can't, even Shepard can't hit, hold a gun steady. Uh oh. I try. You can tell I tried to dodge roll by habit. Yeah. That was our movement up there. I did so, see movement up there. So, by habit from which other game? Mass Factory. Just, just wondering, I mean, there's quite a few ones with that first. Motherfucker, do you fucking mind? I think it does. Are you dead? No. Probably not. Oh, hello there. I can't hit him. Where's the others? Back there? Or up there? Back there. Maybe this will draw them out. No? It's not. Here we go! Hello! He's in a blood rage. 
Uh, is that what he's bringing in Yeah, or just in the What? Can't yeah, this is more like the Grogan who regenerate after, man. They don't do that anymore, thankfully. <laughs> yeah. Just once, I'd like them to kind of line up to where all three of their heads are one behind the other. If they do it, if they ever do it, then it would be really hard. Just blah, blah, blah. It would be a very swell thing to do out of them. Oh. You know, if you guys would just line up and die, that'd be swell. I don't know why I'm stuck with that word lately. Yeah, and that just happens every so often. Understand, we'll have a nice day. That fight was far easier than I remember it being. Man, you do have more experience with it now. The fact that you actually saw the missing launcher for me. Like, okay. We did watch the crew again. It died. Environmental controls should be nearby. We need to insert the cure, then reactivate the fans. Indeed. This is where it's gonna get dicey. Ah, you don't come here. We shut down it's machines. Like Break <laughs> fans. Everyone choke and die. Then collectors make us strong. Well, we know what's going on now. Yeah. He literally just told us why they know this. this. Collectors want plague! You work for Doctor! Turn on machines! Put cure in air! We kill you first! We compromise! There's so many things. You kinda made a bit of a mistake on the last part of that so many don't know. Good job. It's better for me to have Shepard, I've scanned the room. Where? The central control system is in an alcove in the center of the back wall. You can inject the cure and reinitialize the systems there. Thank you, Judy. She's helpful. Excellent. The cure is in place. Now we need to reactivate the fans. <clears throat> Sit down! That will be a notably easier said than done. Yeah, AI, AI squad mate snipers are a little better now, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, whatever that was. <laughs> I can't even say it's a this time. <laughs> like, I don't know what that was, but it was kind of funny. Come on, peek me, I dare ya. I really wish I had grenades. Yes, it doesn't need to peek me. Yeah, well, if you pick shitty cover. Slow guy. Adrenaline rush. That was the first power I got. Oh, right, right, right. I love Adrenaline rush. We still need to activate the other. It makes more sense now that I actually don't remember what the thing is. Yeah, for moments like that. Yeah. And 
having barrier as a bonus power is worth its weight in gold, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Adrenaline rush combined yep. with the uh, semi-auto sniper you get later on. Ooh, yep. pretty low health. Yeah. The good question: Does they ever even have any weight? Uh, I don't know. How would you classify the weight of bi of a biotic? Maybe the weight of the user? Well, I mean, like, the, like the literal barrier around you. I don't. Oh, hello. You might have its own weight or something? No, Engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping, oh, patients nice. improving, fortune retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. That's a good point. Good kid. Bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Beat you at your ship. Looking forward to it. We're heading now. <laughs> See you on the Normandy. The good it's, doctor. Uh, interesting. <laughs> yep. Recruited Dr. Wong Solis for the team. Examination of Omega Plague Cure confirms Dr. Solis' expertise. You can also use work on Omega as leverage against Aria if necessary. Car effects. Assault rifle upgrade. Metagel capacity upgrade. Credits Ezo. Palladium, Platinum. Wait, wait, wait. Can you go up? I want to know how the assault rifle thing actually works. <laughs> ah, it's a research. Okay. Yeah. So you unlock the research that you can do to the damage. Yes. Okay. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human centric. You're very well informed. Solarian government well connected hey. espionage experts had top level clearance once, retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only, no knowledge of man behind it. Anti alien reputation listed as problematic. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes. But this mission is too big for them to handle alone. The collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus? No. Slower than gas, drug. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? This ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken yeah. tens of thousands of colonists. <laughs> we'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. Ah, good, good old Morgan. Yep, I like him a lot already. 
Thought you would. Okay. And we'll talk to people and probably get the research done. Yep, now that we have access to the uh, research terminal. Alright, because he was the research guy. Of yep. Course. And this is what we need elements for. Iridium for assault yeah. rifles. I hate that you have to keep opening the menu over and over again. And that was some machine guns. Can't get any of these other ones at the moment. Had to find them. Yeah. Armor upgrades. Meta gel capacity. Always comes in handy. Yeah. Use. Tech damage. Useful for squad mates like Morden and Miranda. Mm -hmm. Good to know you can also just bring more than into you. Of course. I mean, in the end he was combat capable, just... <laughs> Prototypes! Now what do we have here? Oh my! The ML-77 missile launcher. In case you know, we want to throw our own missiles at them. Not a bad idea. Absolutely gonna get that. We'll never use it. <laughs> Heavy like weapon ammo. Work. Might use that one. M622 Avalanche. Cryo heavy Ooh. weapon. Sounds useful. Advanced training. Hmm. Yeah, that one is, uh. It lets me replace my bonus power. And we can't get it oh. yet, but the M920 Kane. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> The effectiveness and efficiency of mass effect based weapon, weapon technology has rendered large scale deployment of highly explosive weaponry all but obsolete in infantry weapons. The Normandy scientists have prototyped a modified version of the traditional high explosive rounds that is applied to a 25 gram slug. When accelerated to 5 kilometers a second, the round is devastating. Though a technically inaccurate label, this prototype weapon is nicknamed the Nuke Launcher, and its high, and its high explosive matrix generates an archetypical mushroom cloud on impact. It's okay, a then. little powerful. I can imagine. So naturally, you're gonna fight it at point blank. <coughs> Shepard, how can I help? Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. You just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with the budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. <laughs> Tell me more about the Solarian Special Task Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. Similar in what way? Yeah, Solarians lack numbers, brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectre similar, given goal, told to accomplish. Better, funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. <laughs> Shots fired much? <laughs> yeah. Didn't have to buy our own guns. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No, loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, hmm. gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy <coughs> saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice. Retirement after SDG work complete. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan Genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan Colonies. Media, but I don't remember. Captain, Ki Captain Kirahe from Vermeer. 
he, he was leading the detachment that was there. Oh, yeah. I worked with an SDG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard he was part of that. Oh. Jury oh. raped explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. <laughs> <laughs> Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan Rebellion's bloody, dangerous, nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species of all adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth, political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked, population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan Rebellions, needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon. Nothing to worry about. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts oh. viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. In other words, it basically makes it so that a Krogan never have more than maybe a medieval population level so they can still have children just not easily i believe the um statistic presented probably somewhere later in the series is one in every thousand but krogan have such okay. an obscene birth rate that that is considered relatively stable uh, so supposedly if the krogan were to stop throwing themselves into the fire as mercenaries they potentially could have a slight growth population growth or even or at very least stable population growth yeah it's just that they keep doing that yeah uh, as rex pointed out they don't care anymore yeah. nice talking with you morden i should get back to work need to study so much data here if you need me i mean that does make it sound like before their entire combat tactic was just keep making boys to throw at them that basically was it I heard about Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? He's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back. Make sure the collectors pay for taking him. I actually never heard that one. Didn't know that the <laughs> idle crew had idle dialogue. Well, you know. Hello, Joker. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here. I really want a chance to put the Norman in two paces. Yeah. I just have to trim up the drive output, and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advised. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day to day. I think we've already heard this one. I'm no fan hey, either, but we're stuck with it. Until I find a soldering gun, there's got to be some wires <laughs> I can cross to make it hurt. No sabotage. Understood? Yeah, yeah, don't break the boss's toys. <laughs> That's it for now. See you, Commander. <laughs> And I wanted to see what happened to just mute it. Mm, think about it later. Uh, I was saying something. Oh yeah, like the Krogan's tactic is basically Zerg rush, but if the Zerglings were uh, nigh unstoppable t infantry tanks. I mean, have you seen those cinematics? Zerglings were pretty big. <laughs> Yeah, but they're still expendable. Yeah. Not from, so, life, but from the way they kept throwing themselves uh, in battle, I think the Grogan did kind of see themselves as expendable. Mm. My husband was one of the men serving on Garrus's team. I don't know how much Garrus talked to you about what happened. I don't know the specifics myself, only that my husband died in a trap set by those bastard gangs. I know Garrus blames himself. He took every shot fired at his squad as a failure on his part. And it was clear when he sent the message about my husband that he thinks it was his fault. My husband would have never wanted that. He was proud of the work he did on Garrus' squad. He was taking back Omega from the gangs. He died fighting with honor. I miss him. God, I'd give anything to get him back. But what happened there wasn't Garrus' fault. You're his commander now. Please, if you can, help him. Stop blaming himself. And please don't tell him that I sent you this. Thank you. Hmm. That's nice. Well, how about we do just that? Even Dr. Chalk was. 
basically what all this is saying is uh um if we keep if we go down the paragon path the scars you might see over here and there on the face you might be able to see them there just barely uh if we go down Commander paragon they'll basically the uh slowly heal on their own or we could um buy a, med a medbay upgrade and get cosmetic surgery conversely hmm. if we go down renegade they'll get worse huh for some Warden's reason. Warden's profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, <laughs> how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay, I need to head up to be able to take a look at my armor. For the moment they thought she'd complain and then realize, oh yeah, she's never going to have anything negative to say, is she? <laughs> Probably not. Also, as quick as that loading screen was, in the old days, that was the most the biggest pain in the ass of this game. Because mm -hmm. uh, for some reason, it, loading screens had a set duration. Which I know is cancerous. Yeah, that's horrible. Oh boy, what does this one do? Ah, that's the sniper he uh, helmet. <laughs> Increases headshot oh. damage. Just increases weapon damage, but it looks stupid. Looks even worse. Increases power damage. Shield strength. Headshot damage. No, that's the same, by the way. Yeah. No, that's the same, but the last one sounded pretty good for you, maybe. What? Uh, shield strength one? I mean, I was going to sit and make something. Which one? This one? The second to last one, I said. Like, Recon Hood? Uh, okay, never mind. The previous one... The one that didn't look stupid that we checked before the Recon Hood? Maybe it was the last last one. Yeah. Kestrel Helmet? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it looks, look it looks kind of bad to me. Okay. I'm not big on the cover everything but your mouth. I mean, it looks like, was it? Uh, the, the Advent Helmets from XCOM? Yeah, not that I look at you again. It is kind of... <laughs> I'll just leave the uh, N7 helmet. Capacitor chest plate. Reduces shield delay. Kestrel torso sheath. Melee damage, weapon damage, and shield strength. Mmm, oh, that's more interesting. Kestrel shoulders. Shields and melee damage compared to just weapon damage. Ooh, shields are weapons. Shields are weapons. You want to pick shields? Yeah, kind of. Weapons. Shield strength. Simulator kind of. It's storm speed. Useless. Shields. Heavy weapon ammo capacity. Yes. Guess through, guess through, guess through, guess through, guess through. Everything but the helmet. <laughs> yeah, the Kestrel helmet was. Which one was it again? It was the what? everything but your everything but your face, everything but your mouth. Ah. Right. Medal of Honor, view achievements. Okay. Hmm. I mean, the game originally didn't let you shift time after all. Still doesn't. Oh. See. Even though you technically have your own Steam. Uh, I'm playing this off of Origin. Oh. Because it's a pain in the butt to try and get my DLC to work. Fair enough. So Mass Effect 3 is going to be the only one we play on Steam. Right. Uh. Oh, right. Need fuel. Yes, you need fuel now. Let me just go ahead and say, I prefer this way of exploring the galley map, galaxy map by far. As an appreciation for the exploration part of it. Uh, so you only need fueling the old out the. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Uh, is there a faster way to rotate while I'm scanning? No, there isn't. Why isn't there? Oh, 
right, you, I forgot that you had also come to this thing and we saved with it. Probe away. Yeah, now imagine having to do this all over the place. Yeah, this one I can definitely Probe see why you did. Research projects, palladium is used to upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. Uh, skip, I guess. Yeah, don't really need don't really need any of it though. Yeah, well anyway. We'll do more probing ones. Kinky. And then what should they say? I mean enable them all again, I guess. But first things first. Last I think last thing we'll be doing uh, this session. Yeah. So it's more probing? Uh there's gotta be a faster way to rotate. Check the settings. This will do. Oh, you have to push it against that border. Oh. Launching probe. I have found something. Scans confirmed the wreckage of SSV Normandy on the planet's surface. No life signs or mechanical activity detected. Stable landing zone located amidst crash site. Oh boy. It's uh, a little rough. She's uh, not in good position, good condition, you could say. That's a word for it. Caroline. Nine more. I thought it's safe for work. Uh maybe. I was I wasn't looking too closely. And we know I'm bad. That's nothing new. Yeah. I'm a slow shipper. Yeah, twenty, okay. Come on, Shepard, come on! I wonder, can I pull, there we go, force him to vault. Because of course, we're not leaving without finding them all. Of course. There was one to the right. Yeah, I know. I'm working my way around. Where Caden used to hang out. You know, in case you needed any more reminder of someone who's not here. But you gotta wonder, what happened to the bodies? Yeah. Even even with two years, especially in Arctic conditions like this, bodies would still pretty be sure. here. I'm pretty sure they got well collected. Then why are the tags still here? Why why did the collectors get about the tags? I don't think the collectors recovered the bodies. I could have. In that case, they wouldn't have bothered removing the tags. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could. Mm -hmm. a good question. One that, as to my knowledge, is never answered. 
Well, how about that? Ah, uh, the good old Mako. Yeah. The good even old Mako was still there for us. And even after a monumental crash landing, still in one piece. Of course, it's the Mako. Mako. Kind of what it's supposed to do. <laughs> Mako don't give a flying fuck. That's like pretty much how he learns to begin with. Not wrong. Hey, there's our um, distress beacon. <laughs> For all the good yeah, so it did us. Where, so I guess that's where we were. We were above this planet. All right, we were. Remember, you see, you see Shepard crash into it. Yeah. Bit hmm. of a rough day it was that day. Wouldn't that mean Cerberus did the body? Yeah, I mean, in theory, but I'm pretty sure if servers collected the bodies, they would have collected the tags, too. Yeah, that's... Dang. I mean, maybe there's local local fauna that came by and uh, did the job. Bones included. I guess. It's just, I guess not the impossible. Unre <coughs> Unrecoverable, data corrupted, spoke spoke to the commander about this. I, all these damned aliens aboard the Alliance's most advanced ship, just don't trust them. It's that damned Asari, and a Corian? What does Shepard think this is, a zoo? More gibberish. With the Corian, seems she's on some kind of pilgrimage, trying to improve the lot of her ship. I can understand that. I babysit my children or anything. But if she has to be on board, I suppose it's not too bad. More unrecoverable data. For a while now, and I'm taking a look back at past entries in this journal. How blind I was at the time. I came on this ship firmly believing humanity was on its own in the galaxy. Shepard brought all these aliens on board, and there's no way we could have accomplished what we did without them. I'm proud to say die for any members of this crew, regardless of what world they were born on. You know who wrote this? Navigator Presley. Bingo. It kinda said so up there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's kinda I think it's kinda funny how um, you don't really see him much, but But he was always well, he was technically the second in command. Yeah, he was second in command of the ship. And when you talked to him, uh, the few times we talked to him, he didn't really seem all that, you know, upset. He mostly kept things to himself. And hey, we know this helmet. Yep. Looks like Cerberus missed a piece, huh? Well, Severus acting weird, I wouldn't put it past. I mean, do we need to bring up the Rachni and the Thorian Creepers? Yes. Yeah. Watch them just have left the dog tags in random places just as a kind of weird fetch quest for like who put I, the dog who put the dog tags under these crates? No, we we just put them there so you would find them. Just extra training, you know. Now comes the the harder part. Finding her the last those last few dog tags once we find the others. Yeah. Well at least he's alive. Yeah. 
All right, two more. Where's the last couple? One. There's one. one there. Right away, have you been thinking about where we should place the monument? That's a difficult choice. Yeah, by the galaxy map, by the bridge, by the nameplate. Get up. Thank you. Really? <laughs> what? <laughs> there we go. Listen, Shepard. There it is. Listen, Shepard. I know you're having an off day today, but come on. Hey, you know, this is Hanwood. That last play. Alright. I'm thinking by the Mako. Over here? No, no, by the Mako. Oh, over by the Mako? Can we place it by the Mako? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can. I always place it by the nameplate. As much as I love being sentimental, I think it's time we left. Yep. Let's go. <laughs> I know, right? Monuments in place at the last resting place of SSV Normandy on Alcara, and the families of all missing crew members have been notified of their ultimate sacrifice. Shepard's lost in seven helmet was recovered. Hmm. Well, so of course, the Lucy man already knew exactly, uh, exactly everything that was missing. Of course. So, yes, it is entirely possible. He literally just left them there for Shepard to find. <laughs> well, that's that for today. Yep. I hope you have fun. Next time. Bye-bye.